New this morning, Colorado State Patrol has issued thousands of tickets for seatbelts, and we are only halfway through the year. Nine News reporter Brianna Fernandez joins us live from Jefferson County. Brianna, troopers are hoping to drive that number down. Yeah, and that's because Colorado State Patrol has issued more than 5,000 tickets this year alone, and that's because people are not wearing their seatbelts. Now, it may sound like a lot, but they've actually compared it to previous years. So I want you to take a look at your screen because they actually gave me some data. Colorado State Patrol says that in 2021, CSP handed out more than 10,000 seatbelt tickets each year. So in 2021, more than 14,000 tickets. 2022, you're looking at around 11,000. And then last year, more than 10,000 tickets. So still, there are some counties in our state that are not following the rules. And on top of that list, it's right here in Jefferson County, followed by Pueblo, El Paso, Logan and Morgan County. Colorado State Patrol says many of those drivers who are not buckled and sighted, they're taking short trips, but still end up on major interstates. So I-70, Highway 285, troopers have seen drivers go from one exit to another, going 70 plus miles per hour without a seatbelt. Cars are designed to keep you safe while you're inside that car, but part of that safety mechanism is in fact the seatbelt. And all those safety components have to work together. If you're not wearing your seatbelt, it doesn't matter how safe the rest of your car is, it all has to work together. So troopers say that they're always looking for seatbelt violations, but those top five counties are actually gonna have extra enforcement. So if you see troopers on I-70, make sure you're wearing your seatbelt, because if you do get caught not wearing a seatbelt, you're looking at about an $80 ticket and a two-point violation. For now, I'm live in Jefferson County, Brianna Fernandez for 9 News. That's just not worth it. All right, Brianna, thank you.